welcome back to our learning video series for the Phoenix LiDAR Recon Systems. My name is Gilbert, and I'm gonna be your guide today as we walk through the final steps processing all the data we captured on the Recon System. In the last video, we took our Recon LiDAR out to the field in order to capture data. We've got this and the base station observations that we're gonna to combine to create a beautiful point cloud. The post-processing workflow will be completed in PC Master Suite. Before we get started, you're going to need the USB drive from the recon system and the observation file from the base station you used during the flight. It's very important to closely follow this guide if it's your first time processing a point cloud like this, since mistakes during this process can severely affect the quality of the final point cloud. Let's get started. Before we can get going, if this is your first time using PC Master Suite, then you'll need to activate Inertial Explorer license. After activation of your license key, you can skip this step for future missions. Navigate to your PC Master install folder and open the application labeled LLM form. Once open, navigate to Activate License tab on the left side. Here, you will need to input your license key for Inertial Explorer. This key should have been digitally delivered to you from the Phoenix LiDAR team. If you have any issues or are missing your Inertial Explorer license key, contact the Phoenix LiDAR support team and they'll be happy to help. That's support at phoenixlidar.com. Next, we need to connect the USB drive from our recon system to the computer. On the drive, there should be a folder called data. This is where the data we captured in the field is stored. In this folder, we also need to place our observation file from the base station we use during flight. Place the base station file into the data folder and rename the base station file to base file with no extension. Don't worry, if you miss this step, PC Master will prompt you to select the base file later. Now we're ready to start processing. Next up, double click the ppk.pcmp file inside the folder to open the PC Master project file. Now, if you renamed your base file correctly, it should prompt you to confirm the coordinates of the base station. Once you have approved these values or modified them, click OK to continue. From here, PC Master will begin to process the trajectory data so long as your Inertial Explorer license is checked in and current. After this, PC Master will begin to process the correct lever arm values. This is done by processing the loosely coupled IMU position misclosure. The misclosure plot will appear thinner after each iteration, indicating the lever arm is more accurate. Finally, PC Master will process the attitude separation for heading, pitch, and roll. If the attitude separation does not eclipse two arc minutes for heading, pitch, and roll, this is a good indication that the attitude separation is very good. Now we can see our point cloud information inside of the visualizer. This data can be exported like this in its raw form, or we can dive in and refine the data by selecting each flight line and only processing the LiDAR data from the trajectory section. We're going to show you quickly how to slice up the trajectory to get best results for your final point cloud. First, we have to remove the default path. By deleting this path, we can select our best flight lines for our final data. Click on Pass in the UI and then remove the default path. Moving around the visualizer is easy, but has a slight learning curve. Use Control on your keyboard and left click allows you to pan around the data. Click and drag the data to pivot the data in the desired angle. Refer to our PC Master documentation for the full list of keyboard shortcuts. If you right click on a point in the trajectory, you can select Start Selection here to begin highlighting individual flight lines in the data. Pick a starting point of a flight line in your grid and then right click to start your selection. Go to the end of the flight line and right click again to select Finish Selection here. It might take a second or two, but once selected, PC Master will display the corresponding geo-reference points. From here, you can select as many flight lines as you like, individually checking the quality of the data as you go. It's good practice to wait for the points to load before continuing on to select another path. Let's select all the flight lines from our mapping grid. After we have finalized our path selections, we can now produce our uncolored point cloud file by selecting Produce LAS from the GUI. This is an important step. PC Painter will require a non-colorized point cloud to build the colorized version. It's also important to leave the name as default so that PC Painter can easily detect and use this file. That's pretty much it for our workflow. We have one final step for colorizing this point cloud data. We will need to open up PC Painter next. You can close the PC Master window now. Before we jump in and colorize, it's good practice to open up your camera folder and remove any photos that were taken while the drone was not actively capturing data in flight. 
pictures of the ground before and after the flight are not useful. Removing these will speed up the processing and make the quality of the data better. Now, we must open up PC Painter GL in order to colorize our project. To do this, we have two options. Option one is to select the file in your project folder, right click and select process. This will begin to colorize the point cloud without opening PC Painter. This method is useful when you're in a hurry and you don't care to overview the data before processing. Option two takes you through the UI. Double click your PC Painter project file. The program will load all of your photos, trajectory, and LiDAR data. Once the visualizer populates, you can quality check your photos individually by right-clicking any photo and selecting Switch to the camera here. This will show the projection against the point cloud data from just that single photo. It's a great way to check the alignment of the camera. Once we quality check our data, we're ready to export this colorized point cloud. Just like in PC Master, we select Produce LAS from the UI. This should dump a colorized point cloud into the same clouds folder that our uncolorized point cloud was placed earlier. Now you can see both our deliverables in the clouds folder. From here, you have many options and possibilities with your LAS files. Of course, you can always come back and reprocess. You can still access your raw photos, trajectory, or LiDAR data from your project folder. This concludes the PC Master Suite workflow, but opens the door to much more insight and analysis that can be pulled from your point cloud data. Thanks so much for joining us for the Recon video learning series. We hope this extensive guide has jump-started your LiDAR journey. Please feel free to contact Phoenix Support if you get stuck or just need help along your way. You also have access to this entire video series to refresh you on any part of the workflow from mission planning all the way to final point cloud export. Thanks again, this is Gilbert, signing off.